Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. I was getting ready to do a Fishing Sim World episode, but unfortunately, Dylan Lake didn't download. It was going to be my next place to go to, so probably we'll get one within the next day, or at least within the near future. But I have been here in Fishing Planet doing a little bit of cash earning. As you can tell, I don't have a whole lot at the moment in the cash department to get around so I am going to go ahead and show you what I have found since I've been here lots of changes have occurred seems like the fish bite a lot more and I also found out about the bottom fishing here and it's pretty cool actually let's, let's look at our schedule here looks like the peak period is going to be around 1 p.m. 3 p.m. which is good now as far as walleye, they pretty much bite all the time, not a big issue with them. But at 1 p.m. that's when we're going to start seeing a spike in the pike biting. And hopefully we'll get a few of those as well. But let's go ahead over here to the Dock of Peace and get started. Now I will tell you, you can do bottom fishing here quite efficiently and you can even set your rod pot out here but you cannot on this part of the dock you have to be back a little ways I'm gonna go ahead and put it out here but I'll show you what I mean as you can see it's red you can get it uh, it looks like I might be able to get it right there Ah, come on green 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 there perfect that's a little closer anyway this is the gear I've got right now. I've got my Phoenix 14 by 10 foot. That's what I'm going to be fishing with primarily. And as far as the line goes, as far as the line goes, I've been trying to keep it around 80 because at this point in time, I'm trying to fish for walleye. And the walleye like minnows and leeches and quite a few other things. Also, I've been fishing for the chain pickerel, and they go for these uh, shiners. So I might put it back up to 40 and see if I can get one of those first. Now here I've got my all-round 12 foot by 10 inch. I just purchased that recently. Got it set to a 40 inch liter. I've got a 1 and 3 ounce sinker on it. And I've got 10 pound test. This allows me to cast it a little bit further. It's a little stronger, so it's not too bad. I've got small minnows on that, and that is what the walleye like, as well as quite a few other species. I got my Spear MLR 3500, and we got a bell on there in case we need to hear it, of course. I think I'm gonna be basically, instead of doing float fishing, I might be doing some spin casting while this is occurring just in case it gets a little dead now I will tell you honestly I would stick for now with only uh, t one bottom feeding rod because they bite quite frequently so you don't really need more than one if you get two out there you're gonna be trying to bounce back and forth and if you can manage it go for it I can't seem to do it but Anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to do the casting with it this time. We might mess around and do a little float fishing too. Alright, let's get this started. Oh, as far as the casting rod, I'm using my Farcaster 8x6 inch, Counselor 3000P reel, an 8 pound test, 8 6 pound test. Those are both pretty good for this. You'll be able to pull the walleye in with no problem. I just have a silver one eighth ounce spoon on there I might switch that out though since I'm going for walleye this is the one that kills them right here half ounce medium spoon tiger spoon real good also the medium spoons that are silver and gold are good and if you have the narrow spoons this is a little small can't really get it out far enough to where they are so you could try it you're gonna need a little bit lighter line than what I've got on here. Eight pound is going to be too light to get it out that far. Anyway, let's go ahead get our... that's not the right one either. Here it is. Aha! Now, the walleye, since I've got a permanent license here, are going to be out anywhere in this area where it's deep. 
that's where you're gonna find them so good rule of thumb either throw it out there towards that tree another good spot for them is right in this area I'm gonna try out here this time because I'm gonna be doing some spin casting on the other side And then we're gonna put the rod down. I always forget shift one to put it down. I never can remember that for some reason. It's like a metal block. Alright, no, we don't want the nano spoon. We're gonna see if we can't catch one this way too. I'm gonna throw right out next to that tree. The further out it goes, the better. That's going to increase your odds. That's 176. It's not bad, but it could be better. I might get a little bit lighter line. Six pound might be better for this. But we're going to let it sink all the way to the bottom. We might still get lucky. It's within the range. The gist of it is, is just to do a stop and go. want to get three if you can ah never mind looks like we have got something on this one shift wait a minute let's make sure that he's on it let's make sure he's on it well, let's give him a little more time. Okay, he's definitely on it. We'll just go ahead and do a shift one, switch the rods. Well, that little bugger, he's not on there now. It's all right. We'll just put it right back down. Shift F1. Sure sounded like he was on there. Yeah, I think he's on there. Ah, what is the deal? That's the second one I've gotten off of there. No, he's on there. He's on there. It just must not be too big. It's probably like a perch or something. Let's see what this guy is. Yep. Can I had a feeling, judging from the lack of a major pull off of that. Alright, let's cast this thing back out there again. I think I'm going to try right around in this area this time. A little further to the right. Trying a little bit bigger lure here. I haven't tried one that's six sevenths of an ounce. It may be too big though. I don't know if the walleye would go for this or not. But I could definitely get some more distance out of it. That was the key thing. All right, let's advance time. I think 1 p.m. was the peak. All right, make sure of that. Yeah, it's not the peak, but it's close to close enough. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we can't. 
get something over there interested. That's where I found Sauger before too, so might be a good spot for that. Send two. Yep, I think we need to bring this one in. Alright, that might be significant, guys. This isn't a perch. Yep, I think we got us a walleye here. No? Some kind of a... Chain pick, bro, huh? Not a bad looking fish. Go ahead and keep him. I am curious what we might get if we cast it right over here. There used to be some pretty big chain pick roll over there. Alright, let's just set her down there. Get back to this. Getting a good lift and drop. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just not getting lucky here. It's not that they're not biting. There we go. Guys have been a little slow for some reason. Let's see what we got here. Trophy grass pickerel. Not bad, not bad. I don't think they come unique here. I think they're just common in trophy. There are unique walleye, I believe. Alright, might switch this lure out for the casting spoon. Let me see, do I have a half ounce? third ounce yeah I've got a half ounce let's we'll see what that does sometimes in the sunlight it does better than the yeah the yellow tiger did so much better on a cloudy day you know, always be prepared to try different things Yep, that's what they want. Had yeah, to hit on the right combination there. Chain pickerel. Getting a lot of those. I'm not getting as many of the pike as I usually do. It's not three o'clock yet. There we go. Yeah, they definitely want the silver. Trophy grass picker. I'm getting a lot of those. He's bigger than the last one was.
there's another one. Another chain pick roll. Not seeing the pike, but I am not complaining. I think I might switch this one over to a new look, either to a new location or to a different bait. Since I've got this particular rod, I think I might put Shiner on it. Let's see. Well, Pike both like it, so let's go ahead and see what they do. Well, oh, I keep hitting the wrong button there. Used to be right out there just right out there was where you could find the unique chain pickerel so we're going to see if you can bottom fish for them I mean, it ain't going to hurt to try see if there's anything biting over here too there we go I thought something was on that. What do we got here? Another chain pick roll. That was not a chain pick roll. That had to be a pike that I got earlier. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock. This is the peak. We should start to get a little bit more activity now. There we go. Okay, this this might be something. Yep, this might be something. Finally here. Ah, it's another chain pick roll. <clears throat> Seems to be the commonality out here. These are the fish that are biting. There we go. Now we got something here. I think it's probably another chain big roll or grass big roll. Another chain. So far, no pike. That is so strange.
There we go. Well, it's about time. <laughs> it took a while. Jeez. Finally. These guys have been particular this time. I don't know what the deal is. All right. And yeah, see, that's the good cash right there. Not the biggest I've ever caught, but hey, it's a pike. I think I might come over here since nothing's happening off of that thing did so much better on a cloudy day. Might come over here, fish over this direction right next to that, those lily pads. See if we can get anything interested in it from over this side. Pretty deep water right there. There we go. Wow, not bad. Not bad at all. Trophy yellow perch. Alright. Well, that might be a good place to end this, guys. At least this episode. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. We will probably be back here. I'm hoping the weather will be a little more cooperative for the walleye. May just have to wait until it gets closer to evening. That's when they bite the best, if it's on a sunny day. So, anyway guys, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and we will be back. I uh, will talk to you later. Bye-bye.